Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know, it's been a while. Can I say, like people, you know, same old crap. But you guys, I'm super, super excited. So I saw this recipe um, on my Facebook feed uh, about a week or so ago, I think it was. And I wanted to make it, well, because my husband loves everything about cinnamon rolls, specifically Cinnabon. Uh, well, who doesn't, obviously. So, um, and my brother came for a surprise visit this weekend, and uh, I was cooking <laughs> all day in the kitchen, and this one was so easy uh, for the last night, so I just threw it in the crock pot, and they had it after they were making burgers and french fries, and um, I posted some pictures. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. Um, it's down in the description box below. Uh, I post pictures of everything that I don't make a video on because I'm always reviewing recipes, not just for, you know, the videos or whatever. I'm always, always doing recipes. Um, so I posted pictures on my Instagram um, and my Facebook, actually, and I got so many comments on it. And I figured, I said that I was going to do a video on them. And then... My precious Zoe, who I met through. So I love how we met. I was doing Nate from Big Guy Appetite. Um, he does lives. I'm sure you all know him. If you don't know him, I will put his link in the description box below. And who the hell are you? Where have you been? That's my question to you. But anywho, um, he always does lives on Instagram. And he's always on there till like 6 o'clock in the morning, my time. And um, we were talking, and I was doing like a, a house tour and all that good stuff. And Zoe was in there. And so Zoe and I started talking after that. So we met through Nate. And um, yeah, and we just, we were like one in the same. Uh, I don't know how to explain it other than she is just, if you, obviously, if you don't know who Zoe is, um, her description is going to be in the box below. You guys, she's absolutely freaking gorgeous. And check her out. Isn't she just amazing? Look at her. I have told her I'm going to hop on a plane just so she could do my makeup. I mean, absolutely just gorgeous. And she has beautiful kids. Jeannie, who is three. Oh my god, this girl, you guys. You just want to grab her, squeeze her, her husband, Pat. You guys. So I, if you're like me and you love to hear that accent, I just love, because we'll do, we'll talk through Instagram video chat. I love to hear that accent. And God, their tattoos, you guys, their tattoos are phenomenal. As you know, we're tattoo people. So hey. Um... So there's a running joke about <laughs> Pat calling me and just talking to me and then I'll send him baked goods in return. It's, it's hilarious, you guys. It's a, it's a thing. Trust me, it's a thing. Um, I just absolutely love Zoe. She has been there for me through a bunch of crap. <laughs> and so I just can't thank her enough. And then she asked me for the recipe and she goes, what? Do you want to do a collab on it? I was like, hell yeah, I do. Hell yeah. I said, you're going to laugh because your video is going to be like, you know, maybe 10 minutes long. Um, mine's going to be a little bit longer because as you know, reviewing the recipe, I have to show you guys the ingredients and go through all that happy horse shit. And my intros are long. I apologize. <laughs> um, but... I was so excited for her to ask to do the virtual club because, oh my God, you know, when you're, and it's so funny because when you say your best friend here on YouTube, the platform, and, you know, people think, well, how do you have best friends? You just know them. You just do. You just do. And she is like a sister to me. And I just freaking love her. I love Pat. I love the kids. And you guys, she does lives. She's just a, a barbecue live. She cooks, oh my god, her full English breakfast looks amazing. She does carvings. She did a Mexican snack box, and that was sent from Nate, um, Big Guy Appetite, sent her a Mexican snack box, and she also sent him a box, too. 
and I'm going to link that video boop, right there. You guys can click on it and go watch it. Awesome. And her, oh my god, her makeup in that video, you guys, what in the, huh? I, it was phenomenal, guys, just phenomenal. And she does giveaways, too. So please go check Zoe out, show her some love, tell her that I sent you, and just give her a big hug. And tell Pat I said hi. Hi, Pat. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to pop on over here to the island, as usual, and we're going to get into some ingredients and maybe some extra surprise ones. If you like strawberry cheesecake. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to go from right to left. So, we have our eggs, we have our cinnamon, we have our vanilla, we've got our maple syrup, and we've got our milk. And then over there, we've got our crock pot. Then, you guys, like I tell you all the time. So, I told you I made this for my brother when he was here just this past weekend. So, now that I have made it, and Zoe, I apologize, I have a, a little advantage over you because I, I've made it. And being, you know, a baker, I, my mind, if you guys know me and you've been a subscriber, you know that my mind goes in and I think of ways to tweak it, to revamp it, to do certain things to it and make it different. Now, my husband loves when I make my cheesecake with my strawberry uh, glaze for it. So... Now, so you need two of these, two cans, and I got, obviously, like I said, Cinnabon, <laughs> and it has an extra rich buttercream ice thing, so that's that one. So like I was saying, he loves when I make the cheesecake with the strawberry and all that. So let's move over to the left here, to these ingredients, and let's just talk about them. Same thing. Same kind of concept. So we've got our eggs, we've got our cinnamon, we've got our vanilla, but I have half vanilla, and then I have just a quarter teaspoon of strawberry extract mixed with it. And then for here, I didn't add the maple because I don't want the maple to come through and, and mess with what I have going on in my head over here. So I just use regular, um, pancake syrup over here and obviously the milk and hiding behind here the cinnamon and when we come back yes I have cream cheese and we will get into that uh, and what I'm going to do with that when we put everything together because you guys they have strawberry cream rolls Where my head went was, I'm going to try to create a strawberry cream cheese cinnamon roll over in this crock pot. And yes, by the way, I did have to go and purchase another crock pot, but don't worry, it was only $20 at Walmart. So there we go. So what we're gonna do is essentially, we're just gonna go and start with the original one and then I'll do this one off camera so you don't have to, you know, but I will, I will show you what I'm going to do with the cream cheese because I, I do want you to see that if you guys wanted to try this one as well. So I'm going to get our mixing bowl and then we shall return. Okay, so got our eggs in there. Now we're going to put our vanilla and again, you guys, mini spatulas. Best friends! Because I was watching, this does have a video to watch on Facebook. And I always, always watch them. And even Pinterest is really good for having videos too on most of them. Um, and I always watch them. And it will never fail because you will always have people that just pour and they put to the side. And it's like you're losing all of that ingredient that's still in there. And it really, guys, it's one of my pet peeves. It truly, truly is. So we got that over here because we also had five questions for each other so I asked her I said what do you want to talk about and she goes I don't know we can talk about anything and I was like hey you want to do uh, five questions about like getting to know you and she's like sure so I looked up the list and we sent them to each other so the first question she had for me is 
What's something you know that will break the internet? Oh God. <laughs> this is the maple syrup. Uh, oh boy. That could be anything extremely controversial. So I'm going to have to say probably anything that would have to do with Biden uh, or Trump or anything that has to do with the presidency, anything that has to do with the Second Amendment, um, uh, that's what I'm gonna have to say. Un unfortunately, it would have to probably be something as terrible as that. Unfortunately. Number two, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Hmm. Well, <laughs> for me, I would want to go, um, now for the cinnamon, because you have all the powder in there. You, you got to get your finger in there because it'll stick to anything. And the best way to get it out is your finger. Yes, it'll be on your finger. Don't be afraid. It's just cinnamon. It won't bite. Just don't try to do that stupid cinnamon challenge thing. Not endorsing that. <laughs> um, it would have to be Paris, France, it, definitely Europe. And the reason is, is because being a baker, um, I have wanted to go and see all of the pastries and maybe, um, you know, get some training, some official training, you know, instead of just, oh, I'm a home baker, you know, that kind of thing. Um, that's where I would definitely want to go and, and why I've always wanted to watching the cooking channel and seeing everyone get to go. Giada, Guy Fieri, <laughs> screw you guys, assholes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's definitely where and why. Phone, don't shut off. Name one thing that absolutely makes you angry about a partner's habit. Oh, shh. Yet. Well, I don't think he's gonna watch this, so. <laughs> One thing, oh god. One thing. <laughs> I don't think there's one thing. Oh boy. He knows what I'm gonna say, so I'm gonna say it. It's how he, <laughs> how he eats. <laughs> Cause you guys, honestly, when I cook and I put it down, I give him his plate, everything like that, I walk away. I walk away, I go to the room, he puts the TV on really loud, and uh, that's, it, it's just, I, and I know you got you guys are gonna laugh because I love mukbang and I watch mukbang, but it's this smacking. <laughs> I know that's dumb. I know it, it makes no sense, but it's just the certain way, the certain sound. I I can't explain it or describe it, cause you. I'm sure you guys know that there are different sounds, like ASMRs. There are different people that have different sounds, and it's just different for each person. So that's all I can say about that. <laughs> I know. It's stupid, it's funny, but there's that. Okay, so that is mixed. Use your mini spatula too, because you're gonna have to go around and get all that. But that's done, so we're gonna set that aside. And the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna open our first can tube, doobie dab of rolls, and we're gonna cut these into quarters. Okay, so now we have them quartered, and we have our crock pot, and of course it wouldn't be a video if I didn't forget something. Ah! Hey girlfriend in the back. If you don't know, Baker's Joy is what I use for everything. When it calls for spraying or coating anything, this is what I use, Baker's Joy. It has um, flour in it, and this has been my love since I can't remember when. So, sprayed it, and I used my foods. This is 
yes, it is a paintbrush, but I use this only for baking. So, and I get into my crevasses. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take all of our quarters and we're just going to put them in the bottom of our crock pot. So, oh, shoot. Questions. See? Something shiny syndrome, people. It is real and alive. What were we on? Question number three? I think it was. Yes. What's your most favorite thing to do, hobby, other than bake? Good one. So, I don't know if any of you know what this is or, or have done it, but what I have been doing um, to, and it also has kind of been helping with my stress and anxiety and whatnot, um, paint by diamonds, actually. Um, I found this, I can't remember, God, how long ago it was. Um, I think I saw it, it was either on Instagram or Facebook. Um, and I was like, what the heck? What do you mean paint by diamonds? Because I, I don't know if any of you know, but, um, I do love to draw. I have drawn since high school. I've been in art class, um, in college. Um, so art is one of my other things that I have done since... I can't remember when. So when I saw this, I was like, what the heck? So I ordered a couple. Um, I have done one for my mom. Um, I've done a couple more. I'll insert a couple pictures of the ones that I've finished. Um, but that has become one of my woo-saw things, if you will. <laughs> and I love it. If you guys haven't tried it, oh my gosh. But let me tell you, there are many companies that are freaking liars and I, I got asked out of $65 worth of them. Yep, I did. Sure did. And that was just, I don't know, a couple months ago that that happened. And it's a Hauser's. So, we're going to pour this all over the cinnamon rolls. And see, again, this is where the mini comes in handy. Super, super handy. Okay, so now it says to top with the remaining cinnamon rolls. And last time what I did is I cut them um, into, how many? What's that? Three, six. Nine. Little ones. Because I want it, I don't know, I figured, you know, little more little ones on top would be fun. I don't know why, to be honest with you. I just did, because I wanted to. I figured the more the merrier. I don't know, you guys. I freaking didn't know why, I just wanted to. I wanted to see it, and it came out perfect. So, cut them however you want. It really doesn't matter. So, then we're gonna get one of the icing containers. And a little spoon to clean up the mess and I'm gonna mix it because obviously as you can tell it's hard so give it a good mix a roux because we're gonna have to drizzle this on top so I think I'm gonna microwave this for about 10 seconds okay 10 seconds perfect perfect consistency that's what you want well if you want to drizzle it OCD perfectly like me if not, then just do whatever. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna drizzle it everywhere. Oh my god, it's so much better. Why didn't I do that the first time? I don't know. Because I didn't. <laughs> so I just want like little dollops. I don't know if you'd call that a dollop, but little dab, maybe. Maybe that's the right word for it. So I'm just, as you can tell, I'm just taking like tiny little bits and just putting them all the way around. I'm even breaking that up a little more too. 
Okay, so the last question. <laughs> I hope you guys are ready for this. What is the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to me? And in parentheses, it says, can be sexual. <laughs> if you guys know me, you know that I am an open book. I do not, really, I don't give a shit about anything. I will tell you like it is. I will say whatever. <laughs> so, now that the pads of butter are on there and the timer is on, this one is complete. And I will start on my strawberry one. And, uh, we will answer that question in a minute. Okay, so I have the second crock pot here, and I've done the exact same as I did with the first one. And I've put all of the milk, egg, and I did add a little more strawberry extract because the only strawberry flavor we're going to be getting with these cinnamon rolls is the icing that it comes with it. Um... So I wanted to add a little more extra strawberry flavoring into that because I am going to be adding um, the cream cheese. So I cubed the cream cheese and I'm not sure exactly how much I'm going to add. I just cubed it, you know, to see, whatever. So I'm adding it in between the layers because I, I want, my mind went, you know, kind of being safe in between. Um, and melding into, I guess, is where my mind went. So that's kind of where I wanted to go with this recipe. Let's finish with uh, <laughs> the uh, question. The most embarrassing things ever happened to me. And she said it could be sexual. So, well, you guys, not many people know this, but I have been married three times. Yes, three times. Um, and I did ask, I did talk to my husband and said, what do you think about me telling the story? And he said, it's all you. So, and also my entire family does know this, which is many of you might think, okay, that's odd, but you know, I'm me. If you know me, you know, it's not odd for my family to know anything about me because they know everything so anyway um my second husband uh he was a oh god i don't even know how to describe him anyway uh he was i lived in idaho at the time and i had gone through a really bad divorce uh, with my daughter's father after nine years and um, it was a, a very very quick very bad mistake marriage type of deal only lasted 11 months um, he was a cowboy every sense of the word wranglers hat you name it that was him um, uh, definitely not my typical type I was not in my right mind but anyway um, I'm just opening the second package. We were in the bedroom. Uh, sorry if this is TMI for you guys, but, uh, hey. <laughs> she said anything. So, um, and unbeknown to me, he had purchased, um, some... But I'm trying to make this as PG as I can. Some back door entrance toys of sorts for himself. Because, y'all, I do not, would not, and hell to the no, that is a exit only. And uh, that's just how I feel on that situation. And I was on the bottom while he was on the top and he had asked me to place this back door entrance toy of sorts into 
him while we were having the adult time. And I said, absolutely not. But that did not stop him uh, from doing it himself. Uh, you guys, I have no clue how that was. I just pretty much closed my eyes and waited for it to be done and over with. And as this back door entrance toy was being removed by him, uh, it was making a plopping noise of sorts. And it took everything for me not to laugh out loud while this was happening and <laughs> so my family just has this running joke of when I'm around or whatever and they just want to make fun of me they make a popping noise with their mouth and that's been a running joke for I can't tell you how many years now and that for me has been the most embarrassing moment to be honest with you because I did not know what the F was going on what why it was happening and um the noise I just did not I was not prepared for any of it to be honest with you <laughs> uh so that will answer that question um so yeah, guys, there you go. Uh, Zoe, I hope you um, don't regret asking me that. <laughs> so you guys, go guys. Um, I'm gonna microwave the icing for 10 seconds uh, and we'll be off. Okay, so here is the pink one. I highly suggest microwaving for 10 seconds. So pretty. So let me tell you another thing about that. So when we were getting a divorce, because he wanted me to be this freaky, crazy mother. Anyway, uh, it was just a very odd situation. Anyway, um, his mother did not approve of me not being that kind of a mother so we obviously did not get along and I knew his mother was coming to clean the uh, apartment we were living in because he was going to move out once I moved out and uh, he was a mama's boy let's just say that to say the least I found that back door entrance toy in the shower none the least to say so I grabbed that with a glove and put that on the kitchen countertop because I knew she was coming to clean and uh, yeah so she would find his uh, toy of sorts <laughs> take that sucker you freak freaking nature sorry to anyone who enjoys that kind of activity nothing against that it's just me and that was something that I did you know to be childish but I did Anyways, okay, so that strawberry one is done. The other one's done. I have a timer going for two hours and we shall be back when that is up. Okay, so it has been the two hours and the last step for either one, whichever you do, is to pour the remaining icing over the top. So we're gonna go ahead and just drizzle the remaining on top just in time for the husband to get home. Now you're gonna see the original one over on Zoe's channel. So I'm not probably going to dish, I'll dish it up, but um, you'll see, cause she's making hers for Pat, her husband, which is perfect because I'm gonna see if my hubby will try my thought process with this one because he's who I had in mind with that <laughs> as he's looking at me 
So I'm just gonna use the same spoon for the strawberry for the vanilla one. So, you know, a little bit of strawberry getting in that one. Ain't gonna do nothing. So mix it up really good. I probably could have put these in for a little, I don't know why it's taken so long for these ones. I didn't put them back in the fridge. I don't know. Tricky icing, I don't know. So just drizzle. On top. See, like I said, it's still kind of hard to get out. So if you got blobs somewhere, hey, you know. Sorry if you can hear the air conditioner on in the background. It is a hot, hot day. And since this is warm, it's just gonna spread anyway, so you can move it around if you want to. But I'm not worried about it. And I just put the gloves on because again, sticky situation. I'm not about that life. So, back to the side. And it says to serve immediately. So, like I said, we're going to, um, I'll give you a close up of what it looks like. And it smells like, actually, to me, it smells better than walking into Cinnabon. But this is the one we're going to focus on right here. Because I'm super curious. So, I got my roll down here. I got my spoon. Do, 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 do. And I'm hoping to get um, some of that cream cheese. Okay, so I gave him his piece and I actually stuck it in the microwave, sorry, um, before I gave it to him. And I'll tell you why. Because if you look down here, right there in the corner, you see all of that right there in the back. It's all juicy. Um, it should not be, and you wiggle it, you see all of it. It should not be like that. So that means that the egg milk mixture has not fully cooked. So that's why I stuck it in the microwave before I gave it to him. Now, I just took a piece out of the original one and it looks like, ta-da! See, there's no um, liquid at the bottom of the bowl here. That's how it should be, dry like that. And the bowl that I gave him was uh, quite liquidy. Let me bring you over here and show you this one. Sorry about that. So what I mean is, if you look down there, and you see how that's all dry right there, and it's not ooey gooey, and it's not shaking. If I take it, and I shake it, it doesn't move. That's how it should be, and that's how it should look. So uh, if that happens, just I turn that one back on, the strawberry one back on to high. Um, I'm probably gonna, it's probably gonna need maybe another 30, 45 minutes. But um, yeah, so it should look like that. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this recipe review. I hope you give it a try. And please, if you haven't heard of the Zoe Eats Mukbang or Zoe, just go over there. You will absolutely love her. You will love her husband, my slash boyfriend, and her adorable children. And Zoe, thank you so much for doing this collab with me. I am so honored and I love you. I just absolutely, there are no words. There are no words when you find a best friend like you to support you and be there for you no matter what and always when the hour difference <laughs> and I do not mind the five o'clock uh, Instagram video calls at all whatsoever because you know I'm always awake and it's you so thank you Zoe I love you so so much and you guys thank you to all my new subscribers 
I really do appreciate each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart and from my home and my heart to each and every one of you. View it before you do it because you might find something cool and you might learn something fucking freaky about, you know, oh, okay? <laughs> yeah, sport, Zoe. You got it, girlfriend. I love you guys. Mwah.